Do you know what is chemical engineering? In this video, we, future chemical engineer from UTM, will present to you that what we have learned in this course. You must think that chemical engineering is all about chemistry, right? No, it's not. Chemistry and chemical engineering are two very different things. Chemistry is the study of reactions and the discovery of reactions. Well, chemical engineering is taking the reactions that chemists have came up with and trying to optimize them, then put them in a calculated position where you can rely on them. If you search online, Google might show you this, this, this and this. But we are pretty sure that you are still having confusion about what is chemical engineering. No worries, let us answer your doubts. What is chemical engineering? Chemical engineering creatively combines the three basic physical sciences, physics, chemistry, and biology, along with mathematics to address the world's need by creating new technology and improving existing technology. But what does this really mean? It is providing clean water and sanitation to communities. It is advancing healthcare by developing drugs to cure disease. It is researching and improving fertilizers, herbicides, and pesticides to make crops hardier and more disease resistant. It is designing greener products and processes to control pollution. And finding new ways to generate energy. Basically, chemical engineers are improving the quality of life in the environment we live in. For these things you want to achieve, you might become a chemical engineer if you like, combining maths and science, designing efficient processes, having a curious mind, developing your ideas into usable products, taking your ideas out of the class and into the world with real life applications. Studying chemical engineering involves learning theory in lectures, applying what you learn in practical lab sessions, solving issues in program classes with your peers, exploring new technologies, developing industrial strategies, understanding concept to design processes and products, working in teams to solve engineering challenges, and investigating the social and environment impacts of engineering. By doing these things, you will gain more than chemical engineering theory. You will have skills in critical thinking, problem solving, and project management. Do you know what is the job scope for a chemical engineer? No hurry. Before this, I will tell you about how a chemical engineer do in a job. In fact, the knowledge of science and mathematics will be used to improve process and equipment used in processing chemicals and find solutions to the problems which may industries face. Now, let's move to the part of job scope for a chemical engineer. As a chemical engineer, you will be involved in the design and the development of a range of products. Your work will focus on changing the chemical, biochemical and physical state of a substance to turn it into something else, such as making plastic from oil. Therefore, your job scope may majority in gas and oil extraction, oil refining, nuclear and power generation, and process industries which may include pharmaceuticals, fine and heavy chemicals, and also agrochemicals. Other manufacturing industries that need chemical engineers include those supplying fibers and polymers, food and drink, plastic and metals, pulp and paper, toiletries, and water treatment. There are also opportunities to work in pollution control, energy conservation, waste recovery and recycling, medical science, and so on. Next, I will share some information about the courses that will be studied in chemical engineering. For example, we will take engineering math, mass balance, energy balance, chemical reaction engineering, and so on. Moreover, transport process and separation process are also the important course which required to study. For transport process, we have learned about the principles of heat and mass transfer. In addition, Separation process introduces different types of unit operations involved in the chemical and other physical processing industries, such as humidification, absorption, distillation, liquid-liquid extraction, and solid-liquid extraction. 
Now, we will discuss about the process of solid liquid extraction. Solid liquid extraction, also called leaching. Extraction is a crucial step in most chemical analysis. It is a separation technique which involves the removal of one or more components from solid or liquid using liquid solvent. Therefore, as the name stated, solid liquid extraction is the separation of solid from solid by using liquid solvents. Let's look into the basic principle of solid liquid extraction. From this diagram, we can see that there is a yellow solid containing red solute immersed in a solvent. This is the condition before extraction occurs. When leaching occurs, the solute will be extracted out and dissolved in the solvent, resulting in a depleted solid carrier phase. So basically, this is how the solid liquid extraction works. Now, let's look into the extraction system operations. This is a single-stage leaching process. We can see that there are two inlet and two outlet streams in this system. When the solid feed and the fresh solvent come into contact counter-currently, this can increase the extraction efficiency as it can increase the contact time between solvent and solid. After mixing, the solvent will extract out the solute and leaving as overflow solution, while the residual containing insoluble solid will leave as solid overflow. After extracting the solute, we have to separate the solute from the solvent in order to get our product. And lastly, recovery of solvent from the moist solid by squeezing and drying to get a dry cake. This is the overall process of a leaching system and the knowledge that you may need to apply including mass transfer and equilibrium relation. There are a few types of solvent extractor operating methods. The type of flow used in leaching system can occur in single stage or multi stages and it can be counter current or cross current. Since this is a chemical process, there must be some factor which will affect the process rate. First is the particle size. The smaller the size, the higher the transfer rate of solute. Second is the solvent. The choice of solvent must be made based on the solubility of the target analyte. Third is the temperature. High temperature can improve the extraction rate, but it may cause degradation to some compound as well. Last is agitation. Agitation of the solvent will increase the turbulent diffusion and the transfer rate of material from the particle surface to the solution. Through the explanation given before, do you think that solid liquid extraction is a complicated process? Or maybe you think that it will be only applied in industry? Solid liquid extraction is not only applied in industry, but also applied in our daily life and our environment. Now, let me introduce you some application of this chemical process. Firstly, preparation of coffee. When we pour the hot water into a cup containing coffee powder, the water will add a solvent to separate the coffee flavors from the coffee powder. This results in drinkable coffee which is the solvent with dissolved flavor with the completely depleted coffee grounds remaining in the filter. Besides, the process to prepare green tea is almost same with coffee. The green tea leaf adds as solute and the hot water adds as the solvent. When the tea bag meets the hot water, the hot water will extract the green tea flavors from the tea leaf. Then, the preparation of green tea is done. Then, as Ren is also carried out this leaching process, as the acidic rainwater flows through the soil, it adds as a solvent and will leach aluminium from soil clay particles. Then, the rainwater will bring this aluminium into shrimps and legs. That aluminium will cause water pollution and it may be harmful to plants as well as animals. Next, are you familiar with this cooking oil? This sunflower oil is also being produced by using solid liquid extraction. In manufacturing industry, hexane is used as solvent to extract oil from the sunflower seeds. In addition, industry also apply this leaching process to extract the copper salt from ores by using sulfuric acid as solvent. These are just some simple examples related to solid liquid extraction process. There are many more interesting applications which doesn't mention here. So, if you are interested to know more, Let's join us in chemical engineering field. See you!